Oh, come on, you go guys. In, go in, go in. Come on. 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 Yeah, he's going to film your show dogs. You said they're show dogs. So I was like, you know what? Let's get them on YouTube. Come on. Ginger, are you happy? How are you? Do you have a toy? Garlic. Who is uh, being the most difficult for you guys? Garlic? All right, let's start with garlic. So I think what I'm going to do is I want to first go over with you guys what you need to do to use the leash. So you don't need to always go to the park or uh, find that you have to go somewhere. You can use just this open space and knowing that there's cars that are going to come there and cars that are going to come there. All you're doing with the leash, and I saw you at group class where it's this is what you're almost forced, is I'm, I'm going to be pulled, the dog wants to come, and then if you walk this way, the dog might then you know continue to move and it's the dog still in control this is your first line of direction and communication so the reason that i always hold it with one finger is because i know that my body is part of this little dance then it's just making the dog move where i want it to move so it's more about walking this way getting the dog's attention thank you and starting to put the dog in that heel slot that I want the dog to be in, give the dog some love and excitement, and then I know the dog's gonna pull me again. So, break! And then now I'm just using the leash to communicate just gently, hey, I want you to start to come right here, yeah. right? And that's kind of the fun part is just knowing that it's not forcing the dog or pulling, it's literally just put your finger be very relaxed. Know that when I move forward, the dog's going to start to come to you. I'm going to come over here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, happy dog. And now I'm starting to be more interesting than the distraction. And the distraction right now is mom and dad, which is a very high, oh my God, my mom and dad are there. Hey, so let's pretend you're another dog. And the dog... I want to bark, right? I see something. It's, come on, doesn't matter. Let's go. Hey, come on. Sit. Thank you. Thank you. So it's just a circle dance. It's a circle dance. That's it. And I'm knowing that if I'm going to go right, your dog's going to start to turn this way. And guess what happens if I go left? I need to make sure that the dog turns that way. So I'm actually getting in control of the dog's motion and body. So that way it's not, for instance, you know, one step, two step, right? If you want to make a right turn, we pivot, right? I'm going to go here. The dog needs to learn all that. You ever notice how like uh, when we taught place, the dog would pop its front paws on, but it didn't know that it had to also pop the back legs. So dog training is really teaching the dog almost about itself so oh i got back legs and front legs and i gotta move them and jump Come on. Hey. i know thank you thank you Now, this is the first time that your dog has only had hey, a flat buckle collar. Mm -hmm. You were using the pinch before. Yeah. So when the dog gets to the end and it feels the pinch, it'll want to turn back and ultimately stop the pain so that it looks at you and then it'll, it'll come running. Because now it's just the buckle collar, there's no correction, there's only direction, okay. right? Which is why the dog is being a little bit more difficult than normal but at the same time is still responding pretty well, yeah. right? There's no e-collar on the dog. It's just basic leash training. So this is something that you guys can do in your neighborhood. If you know the dog's going there, guess what? Come on. Come on. Good.
Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Come on. Come on. That's it. Nice. Now, the benefit of a 15-foot leash is that you can drop it, and you don't have to worry about doing that. You can just drop down and grab the end of it. But even with a short leash, you want to build that trust. You are the first part of the trust. You can't wait till your dog trusts you. You have to learn to trust the dog. So you got to start to drop the leash and all right. Hey, 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 hey. Don't do it. Come here. Thank you. And when you need to grab the leash, grab the leash. But even then it's delicate. I'm not grabbing it because your dog's doing something wrong. Yeah. We're still teaching. I'm still trying to help you understand what I want. If this dog was five years old yeah. doing the puppy behaviors, I want to get to my mom. I want to get to her. At that point, it's like, well, the dog's not listening because we know that the dog was trained. This is an untrained wild puppy. Yeah. It can do no wrong. Yeah. Everything is about me helping the dog. And if I can do it as animated, right? Show the dog clarity, build the confidence, be as consistent as I can, and then help you guys be consistent, then out of nowhere, the dog is feeling really, really good. Yeah. And then it's patience. You gotta have yeah. some patience for the dog. All right, so I want you to come out here actually. And I want you to just kind of do uh, a little circle and kind of walk up and down and just use the leash how I was showing you. Good. And then when the dog comes to you, give the dog some love. Good. Good, love, 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 love. Because the conversation the dog is having right now is I'm a puppy I want to play. You want me to focus on you? Well, what are we doing then? So once the dog starts to give you the attention, now you've got it. Now it's your job to keep it. Good. Good job. Good job. Start walking that way. Good. 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 Tell her she's good. Good. But the traditional walk does not have to be I did a loop, I went straight. It can be, I was here doing circles, doing a little dance motion. I don't even know where I'm going and the dog's focused on you, right? Good, look at that. Come here, come, come here. Oh wow, runs right to dad. But also if you know that you don't need to grab the leash that we can like, hey, guess what? You can tell the dog to come. Yeah. I can tell the dog to come. The dog's gonna go to one of us. It's called yeah. the magnet theory. They're gonna try to stick to somebody. I wanna see what happens if you take the leash now and kinda of just do a little circle and keep his attention. Good. Yeah. They should be happy. When you and your boyfriend walk together, you probably look at each other and talk. Yeah. You giggle. You're, yeah, yeah. you're talking and walking, right? Before and then there's like, people past you. Before it's like, oh my God, why are we three two? Oh your, your boyfriend would pull you a lot? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good though, look. Good. So now I want you to go make a right turn. Make a right U-turn. Good. Good. And you see how you're directing the dog to kind of keep coming back to the same side. Good, good, that was perfect, that was great. Good, 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 good. Drop the leash. Grab the leash and just bring the dog to you. So something else that you guys can practice is Let's, uh, let's have you go to the other side of the street. And I'm gonna tell you to uh, say, come. And when the dog comes to you, I want you to grab the leash and get the dog to sit. All right? Say, come. Come, come, come. Grab
grab the leash first, tell the dog to sit. 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 Good, give the dog some love. What a lot of times happens is with the dog, they have so much momentum that when you say come, they're going five miles, 10 miles, 20 miles, and then by the time I'm here, I'm going full speed, which is why the dog goes, good to see you. And they start wandering. I want the dog to know that just like a car, let's say you're the red light, I wanna go slow down, slow down, and I'm at the red light, yeah. right? So we have to take the motion and then slow it down as it gets into this kind of box, which is why if the concept is you're gonna say, come grab the leash first. Okay. Drop the leash. Hey, what's the name? Good boy, good boy, good boy. Grab the leash. Oh, See how sit. you stopped it from running sit. past you? Sit, start it, sit. And then even take one step forward this way. Take one step forward, good. See how the dog just positioned? Yeah. Sit. Good. Good boy. So the other concept, you can come back over, is to use your body. Do you see how the dog was looking at the truck and just by taking one step forward, the dog turns around and goes into the spot? Yeah. So it's, it's those little things of using the leash, using your body, helping the dog have some clarity. Got it. Right? Do this. Go put him in the crate and grab the other one. Oh, who's a happy dog? So where a lot of people also go wrong is, see how the dog's facing this way yeah. and I'm like, not trying to be here. Like I'm almost like, I'm looking at the dog, but I'm walking away from the dog. Mm -hmm. You need to be in control of the walk. Dog sees the camera, dog's excited, guess what? I can either let the dog now be in control of the situation, or just like a clock, guess what? I'm now at six o'clock. Now I'm gonna get the dog at three o'clock and out of nowhere, hey, how's it going? I got the dog again. So it's just a matter of using the leash in your body when he wants to walk ahead. Hey, excuse me. How's it going? Hey. 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 Come on. Hey, hey. <laughs> so the thing we worked on this past Saturday was the one step, one step. If I take a step, the dog should take a step, not four steps, not five. So one step, parallel, one step, good, one step, good. Now, is the dog doing anything that's like really crazy? No, right? Maybe to you guys, it's extremely impressive, but in terms of what the dog's actually doing, it's just basics, right? But you wanna let the dog know that it's a big deal. Yeah. So even if it's something small as the dog looked at you, if I'm a depressed kid and I'm like this, and it's like, man, he's always looking down. By the time I go, in that quick moment where I have the confidence to look up at a girl, if you don't go, hi, that might cause me anxiety, right? Mm -hmm. But there's that quick moment where it's, we can make eye contact, yeah. right? But if you don't even notice it, what happens is the dog goes, I was looking up at you and you didn't even notice. So I look back down at the ground. So it's all about getting the dog really excited about everything. Yeah, yeah are you a good dog? And then the dog will want to stick with you. Oh yeah, hey, hey. Do you see the backward pulls? So I keep my hands straight, and when I feel the tension, instead of letting the dog get me here, where I then have to pull back, I keep my hands straight down, and when I feel it, I can kind of pull back. Yeah. When I make the turn, pulling, quick little pull, just the slightest, I mean, you can see with one finger,
Good. Heal. Good. Sit. 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 Good. And you notice it's all gentle with the leash. It's using your body, your voice, yeah. your motion in space, right? But even if I... Oh, you're so good. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, you're so good. Oh, quick. I don't even, I don't know where to go. I love them. Come on, quick. All right, your turn. First part, get the dog's attention and then keep it. Good. Good. Make sure you give affection when she looks at you. Good. And you can do one step sit. One step sit. The reason I don't do it is because I'm just trying to get a little bit ahead of what I want the dog to be, but one step sit will also help the dog. Or it's one step, you can give a little pull, and then have just enough backward tension so that way the dog doesn't take two steps. Right? So that way. So I just go like little. Yep. So if we take one step and then you go like that, yeah. see how it stops the dog? versus taking that one step and then going, get back here. Yeah. It just prevents up. Oh, they have to be right here. Yeah. One step back. Good. That's it. And you see how delicate it is? Yeah. It's, it, if it's not easy, you're doing it wrong. And if it's not fun, you're also doing it wrong, you know? Yeah. It should be fun and easy. Good, just like that, good. Perfect. Good. Lift up slightly with the leash, good. The backward is to prevent the dog from going forward. Yeah. This vertical mm -hmm. is how you get the dog to sit. Oh really? So it's not this. And do you see how if my hand is here and I have all this yeah. leash, it's weird. Yeah, you can it's do it awkward. with your arm, do that. Yeah. It's like, what is this? Yeah. I wanna be here and just go sit. And if you have to, you can touch the butt and the dog will stay right there. So if anything, it would be like a, a backward and then an upward uh -huh. to go here and then here. So now you're controlling the head and you're controlling the body, mm -hmm. right? So let's take one more step. One step, didn't even have to because he, he's starting to understand yeah. the positioning. So then here you just sit. Good. And the more formed the dog is, the more structured you are, then you have a dog that's perfect like this where we could take, let's go one more, one step. And now the dog's starting to really understand yeah. where I'm supposed to be. I walked my dog for miles yeah. the other day. After a little bit, I should just be able to go, all right, let's walk. And the dog understands. Yeah. So the more that you have a foundation, then you can just, we're doing our thing. So do one more, walk that way towards our car, come back and then I'll have your boyfriend give it a go. And just practice using that leash.
Still too good. These dogs are great. Good job. Good. Do a few one step sits. Or you don't even need to do the sit, just do one step, stop. One step, stop. Because he's doing it now. Take five steps and then stop. Take five more steps and then stop. Take like four steps and then stop. Perfect. Well, now he's getting closer to the camera guy. So just use the leash backward. Yeah, because the second that you notice that the dog's starting to change, that's when you can just go, all right, we're gonna help. So then just go one, two, three, four, backward pull, here the dog is. One, two, three, four, backward pull. Make a right U-turn. All right, start doing uh, one step and then just stop, take another step. Perfect. You see how we even did the- He almost did it. The dog did this perfect like, and attention. <laughs> right? Huh, huh, hey. But that's all, and you could do this for 30 minutes. Yeah. You could take a hundred steps. One step, one step, one step, one step. Now take five steps and then slow. Good, Good boy. Good boy. Sit, sit. And touch the butt. Good. Lots of love, lots of love. Yay. Do another five steps and then sit. Know that he's going to react now that he gets closer to the camera. Perfect. So the game becomes, so let's walk. I'm not going to tell you when I'm going to stop moving. But when I stop moving, I want you to stop moving, and I want the dog to stop moving, okay? You don't know when it's going to happen, but out of nowhere, boom. Now, it's not bad, but what's the one problem with what I just did? He went head a little bit, right? Yeah. I didn't communicate. The purpose of me telling you that I'm not going to tell you when I'm going to do it is so you fail because if you don't communicate to your dog the dog will also oh sorry i didn't know the same way if you're driving your car you don't just go slam on the brakes you ease on the brakes until you get to the car yeah. so whenever you're going to stop communicate to the dog that you're slowing down that you're pumping the brakes so let's walk and go watch this in five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Well, my goodness, right? Yeah. Turn around this way. Uh, yeah, go this way, you're good, because that way he'll flip, perfect. So you have to think about it like a dance yeah. or a musical song. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, Notice how your legs are yeah. matching the dog's legs, and you guys are literally on the downbeat landing together. Make a U turn. And one, two, three, four. You see how your foot almost goes and bump, bump, bump. See how my arms also swing and boo. So as your arms swing, guess what you should be doing? pull back with the leash a little bit, oh. right? And that way I tell you, I'm communicating and I have this rhythmic walk. But if you know, and one, two, three, stop, you're preparing for it versus stop, right? Two different things. So it's about communication and then just being effective with it. And you'll have a dog that's so perfect. Yeah.
So I want you to make a right U-turn. Watch. You keep going, keep going. And see how the dog's focused on me? Mm -hmm. See how my hands are down and I'm like not doing anything? Even if I just did this. Hey, 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 get ready. One, two, three, four, stop. And the dog's looking at me, right? That's what I want is the dog just looking at me because I'm getting the dog's attention before I even let him know what I expect, right? If you can get the dog's attention, then you can let them know your expectations, but you have to have their attention first, and then you can teach them anything. Mm -hmm. All right, break. Now the way that you can tell is again, the one finger rule, and there's the distraction, right? Yeah. Then it's, hey, thank you. See how he's almost coming and turning and flipping at this point? So the more that I can control those circular motions, good, oh yeah, the better off. So if I want the dog to turn here to end up here, right? He has to literally do a circle and come back here. And that's just using the leash. This way. Yeah, yeah, I know. Now, it's difficult because if he would have turned the wrong way, yeah. he would have learned how to walk an opposite way. Yeah. If I'm going to go left, I'm going to turn this way, right? Yeah. If I'm going to go right, I'm going to turn this way. If I learn that to go right, I have to do this, <laughs> I would be weird, yeah. right? So same thing. I don't want the dog learning all these weird things. He needs to turn this way. Right? If I want. Thank you. Oh. Oh, he's a good puppy. Right? Or. Come on. Right here. There it is. There it is. And you can pick. I want him on the right-hand side for the first walk. I'm going to put him on my left-hand side for the second walk. You're in control for the whole walk, though, of what side he's on. Don't let him zigzag. So I'm gonna keep him on my left. Backward pull, backward pull. Very delicate though, hey. Come on. Thank you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. This way. If the dog knows that I'm animated, it's not gonna react as much when I get animated. Mm -hmm. If you're, and then you go, good! <laughs> you're not animated enough. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's new yeah. to the dog. I want the dog going, he's always fun, yeah. so I'm calm. Yeah. If, even if I wanna, yeah. dog doesn't need to react, yeah. right? If I want to, good job. Break. I'm the puppy. Yeah. The dog's observing me. The dog's the babysitter. You know, you guys go have fun. Dog gets to come with you. I'm going to Disneyland later. You guys want to come? Not, yeah. my dog has been begging me to go to Disneyland, so we took him. We don't even like rides. Yeah. If you become up here, yeah. the dog like has to, what are you guys doing today? Yeah. Am I coming? I'm going to nap? Good, because you're freaking crazy. Yeah. Right? So we have to like just play the game. Look at that happy face. <laughs>
Yeah, good job today. Good job. All right, we're done for the day. How did you guys hear about Epic Dog Pros? Oh, I Actually, searched search it online. How did you find us online? Oh, uh, YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. yeah. Very cool. What was your first impression of me as your dog trainer when you met me? When I'm, even before I met you, when we just speak on the phone, I feel like this guy must be a dog lover because you explain like how you grew up with golden retrievers and then how you, you know, you, I, I just can't feel that energy even through your voice. And then first time when I met you, you just, you just came in and be like, I feel like, wow, that's your dog. You're like yeah. giving them kisses and hugs and then you just, it, just that energy, you know what I mean? Like some people I feel like they just come in and be like, okay so here's our program and then oh you have cute dogs hello ginger hello girl you're like sitting there you're laying on the ground and you just play with them i was like this is the right guy i love it yeah. what did you guys think of today's lesson what did you guys learn or what did you guys notice i was just about to say that because today i feel like just on point because i always had an issue with how to walk in them you know and today i just feel like like you said communication with the dogs like just be part of it just not like hey i'm an owner you're a dog and then you have to walk the way i want it like if you pull i'm gonna pull you back and all that stuff i feel like it's just more more understanding what was one thing you learned today uh don't stress out like so quickly <laughs> yeah yeah become like them yeah, yeah like knowing them <laughs> from like yeah. heart, from like really, you can drop the really knowing them. Yeah, and They're more done. communicate with, the, with my babies. Right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think you guys are doing great. You. you guys have a great day. Later, garlic. Good job today. You did good. See you tomorrow. Yep, take care.